Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a 2024 election prediction between former Republican Governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, and President of the United States, Joe Biden. Now, Chris Christie, I think he is an interesting candidate for 2024 for the Republican Party. And I say interesting not in a good way or a bad way, kind of like a neutral way. Chris Christie, I think, in 2012, he was very brash with the media. He was very up in the media's face. And we've kind of seen the Republican Party become more like that, especially in the age of Donald Trump and kind of the age of people trying to out-Trump Trump now in the Republican Party. Chris Christie was kind of like the only one doing that in 2012. So if Chris Christie ran in 2012, I think he could have potentially won, to be completely honest with you. But I think now... The sentiment around Chris Christie is people think of Bridgegate and they think of everything that went on with that and running in 2016 and how much support Chris Christie really didn't have too much in the Republican primary. I don't know if Chris Christie would be able to win in a nationwide election. But enough with that said, let me tell you what, how I think the election would go. I think Joe Biden would win the West Coast. I think Colorado and New Mexico would still go safe. I think while Chris Christie could do a little better in a state like Virginia, I think that it would still go safe, as would the rest of the East Coast, including New Jersey. I don't think Chris Christie would be able to make it uh, too, too competitive. Maine at large, I'd put safe as well. New York would go blue, and Illinois as well. Biden's at 210, Christie's at zero. So Christie now will win a lot of the Republican states that a traditional Republican would win. I think Chris Christie would also be able to flip back Nebraska's second district. I think he'd be able to win that. And a lot of the other traditional Republican states would still stay red. So Chris Christie is 125. Biden has 210. Chris Christie, being the governor of New Jersey, might help him a little bit, but not too incredibly much. In the sense of Christie, I see someone as doing similar to Mitt Romney nationwide than Donald Trump would. For instance, I don't think Chris Christie has much Rust Belt appeal at all. But he might have some more appeal in the traditional Republican states. So what I mean by that, Minnesota, I think, would go likely for Joe Biden. I think the state of Nevada would go likely or would go lean for Joe Biden. The state of New Hampshire actually could be interesting. I think people in New Hampshire do like Joe Biden. But Chris Christie is actually pretty popular in New Hampshire, surprisingly. It was one, he didn't do great in the Republican primary, but New Hampshire was one of his strongest supporting states in 2016. So I'm going to give Joe Biden, New Hampshire, in the lean column, but Chris Christie, I think, would actually, New Hampshire is one of the better states to be well equipped to potentially win. Now, the state of Texas, I think, would go lean to likely. I'm going to say likely for now. I think, uh, maybe lean, actually. Lean probably for Chris Christie. I think he'll be able to hold on in Texas. I think the state of Florida, Chris Christie would win, but very, very, very narrowly. I think he would probably win this by less than 1%, similar to what Barack Obama beat Mitt Romney by in 2012. I think the state of North Carolina would probably go for Chris Christie as well. Um, now, Biden's at 229. Christie's at 213. The problem comes in for Christie where... I would assume Biden would win Maine second district, very very close. But I would assume he would win that. The state of Michigan would go lean to likely, you know what? Probably likely for Joe Biden, honestly, over Chris Christie. Then I think Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania would go lean for Joe Biden being from there. It definitely helped him out in 2020. I would expect him to help him out over Chris Christie as well. And then Wisconsin. I think Christie could potentially pull an upset, but I think it would go tilt. For Joe Biden over Chris Christie there. But Biden would win. He has 274. Christie's sitting at 213. I think Iowa and Ohio could be surprisingly close. I think that both are trending to be Republican states. But I could honestly see Joe Biden maybe winning one of Iowa or Ohio over Chris Christie, to be honest with you. I think Christie might be able to win back the state of Georgia very, very narrowly. I could see Joe Biden honestly winning the state of Arizona, keeping it in the blue column. Tilt, lean. Uh, he's probably tilt. Probably tilt, I would say. Nevertheless, Biden's at 286. Chrissy's at 229. I'm tempted to give one of Iowa or Ohio to Joe Biden, to be honest. I don't know which one. It's tough. I mean, Iowa, like, 
Iowa voted for President Trump twice, but it's an interesting state. I could see Iowa actually maybe flipping back to Joe Biden. That is definitely a possibility I could see happening. Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Um, I'm kind of tempted to give Ohio to Joe Biden, honestly. Really, I am. I kind of... This is a very interesting map. I haven't seen Iowa and Ohio be blue in a while. But I kind of see this happening, to be honest. I don't know if Chris Christie has the appeal to one of the Rust Belt. And I don't know how well of a nationwide candidate he would be, to be completely honest with you. I mean, I like Chris Christie. I think he's a good guy. But I don't know if nationwide if he would be the best choice for Republicans in 2024. However, that being said, I'm also doing this in... Uh, April of 2021, so 2024 is a long ways away. And I also don't think Chris Christie will be the nominee, but if the party coalesces around him, you never know. Maybe something might be different. But that's going to do it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, tap the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.